Nope, this isn't the latest M1 iPad Pro. This is the last gen iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard attachment and the Apple Pencil. And this video is all about whether or not you can use the iPad Pro to create a freelance business that generates you thousands of dollars every month. Not only that, but in this video, I'm gonna tell you about a couple of different businesses that you can start out and run completely on an iPad and even give you some ideas of how you might be able to use the iPad to get that business going. And just to be respectful of all of your time, spoiler, yes, you can totally run a freelance business completely from an iPad. To start, I'm gonna tell you a little story. About two years ago, I bought a house. It was an old house and a house that needed a lot of work before I could move in. So for a period of about eight months, I didn't have access to my main desktop computer. It's a powerhouse, 3070 GPU. It's awesome. It's where I edit all my YouTube videos and it's where I do all my Fiverr freelancing, copywriting, things like that. So it was kind of scary to me when I had to be out of the house, had a computer in storage, and thought, how am I gonna run a YouTube channel, a copywriting business, and you know everything else without my computer? It was kind of a scary thought. So I did some research and I ended up going with an iPad Pro, the big one, I think it's like 12.9 inches. The idea was if I could get this and just scrape by for eight months, when I moved back into my house, I could fire up the desktop again and all would be good. Well, in that eight month period, I wasn't just scraping by. My businesses were actually thriving using just an iPad. For my Fiverr business, it was great. The iPad has an incredibly long battery life, so if I wanted to do freelance business or communicate with buyers on the go, I would just make sure to throw in my iPad into my backpack. I wouldn't even have to bring a charger most days because the battery would run for like 12 hours, and then I could work wherever I was, which I really liked. Combine that with the fact that typing on this Magic Keyboard attachment is actually pretty great. It pretty much feels like a MacBook Pro. I was able to bring it anywhere. Not only was I able to do my Fiverr stuff, but I was able to do copywriting projects just as efficiently as if I had my desktop computer with full-size keyboard. It was really awesome. And it turned out that for my YouTube business, it got even better. So I was planning on carrying around my mirrorless camera it's back here, a Fujifilm X-T200. My plan was to record my YouTube videos on that camera with, you know, constant lighting that I'd have to bring around with me, external microphones and all that stuff. And that's how I started. And I was uploading the video content to my iPad because it uses USB-C and you can transfer files that way. I thought that was great, but it got even better when I realized, you know, I didn't need to carry around all this camera equipment. The iPad had a 4K camera and what they call studio quality microphones. So I was actually able to just prop my iPad up, use the magic keyboard as like kind of a tripod. I would just have to stack it on some books. And I was recording all of my videos using the back camera on my iPad Pro. And then I was able to edit them too using a tool called LumaFusion. It's like a $20 app on the Apple App Store. And for eight months, I recorded every video using my iPad and editing them on my iPad, which was pretty awesome. So I do use DaVinci Resolve now to edit all my videos, but I can tell you with total honesty, for talking head style videos, there was rarely a time where LumaFusion would crash or bug out on me, which I know is super common for people who use, you know, Apple's editing suite, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, all of those tools crash a lot. And I know a lot of people do like huge timelines on there, but for talking head videos, it was amazing. There was like no limitations for me the way I was making videos at the time. So that's the story of how I was able to use an iPad Pro to run my freelance copywriting business, my Fiverr business, and my YouTube channel 100% on an iPad, which is great because I know a lot of people who are thinking about getting into YouTube or freelancing are looking for which computer to buy, what hardware they need, but the reality is this tool was amazing. And, and I know you could argue that you could do everything on an iPhone, for example, because LumaFusion is a mobile app, but having that iPad screen, you know, to edit and do things like that, it was just a perfect fit for me in that time period. So that was my story. Now, just like I promised, I'm gonna list a couple different types of freelance businesses that you might not know that you could run on an iPad, 100% from an iPad, to give you some ideas. If you're kind of limited with tech, you have an iPad or you're thinking about buying an iPad, you can check out these businesses for yourself, see if you can make any money with them. The first is voiceover or voice acting. $250 for 250 words. That is a very real rate that someone I know personally charges for voiceover work. 
you can make well over $150 per hour as a voice actor, and you can use an iPad to do it. A dollar per word is great money, fantastic. You might not start there, but that's definitely in the realm of possibility if you commit to this. And an iPad Pro is actually a really solid tool to tackle this whole voiceover game. You remember those studio, studio quality microphones I was telling you about? They are awesome. And you know, little pro tip, if you wanna record really, really crisp audio using your iPad and those studio quality mics, just open a closet where you have a lot of clothes hanging, set yourself up in there and record in the closet. And no, I'm not pranking you to make you feel like a fool going into the closet and recording uh, audio. That's actually a great strategy. So in a small space with clothes hanging around you, the soft clothes will stop the sound from reflecting off of hard surfaces like walls, which reduces echo and makes your, your audio sound a whole lot crisper, cleaner, deeper, whole lot better. It'll make the audio you're recording from your iPad sound like you were in a professional sound booth. It's really pretty remarkable try it out. So that's how you record audio for voiceover on an iPad, but you can actually edit it on an iPad too. There's a ton of different apps on the Apple App Store, but you know, I think GarageBand I've heard is a pretty awesome, I think it's free or cheap tool that you can use to edit audio files, chop them up, clean them up, and get them ready to send to your clients on Fiverr. It's really pretty remarkable. So the next freelance business you can run totally from an iPad is video editing. So earlier in this video, I told you that I edited all of the videos on this YouTube channel over a period of eight months using my iPad and a tool or an app called LumaFusion. And I know that traditionally video editors will tell you that to edit video professionally, you need a big clunky expensive desktop computer, right? Well, honestly, for my talking head style videos, like the videos I do on this YouTube channel, my iPad and LumaFusion was more than enough. So if you wanna get into video editing and make some serious money doing it, you can target talking head style YouTube channels. You can use your iPad, get LumaFusion, which is a super cheap video editing tool, and away you go, you're making money. Third freelance business you can run completely from an iPad, I think goes without saying, is copywriting. I used my iPad and I still do use my iPad to do copywriting projects on the go or around my house to this day. It's super convenient. The Magic Keyboard is really, really easy to use. And Fiverr, the Fiverr website, works really well in the mobile version of Safari for iPad. So if you wanna get into copywriting, I use Google Docs a lot. You can use Pages, whatever word processing tool you prefer. You can create your projects, do them on your iPad, and send them to your clients on Fiverr or whatever other freelance website you decide to use. And away you go. And the fourth freelance business that's more of a side hustle is content creation and creating YouTube videos. So I've mentioned this before, and a lot of people online say you can run an entire YouTube channel from just a smartphone. And I agree, you totally can. I think that's good advice to lower the impression a lot of people have that there's a huge technical barrier to entry to getting into YouTube. You can totally do it on an iPhone. But the beauty of using an iPad is when you're editing videos on a bigger screen, it's just a lot easier to do. I frequently edit shorts and you know medium length videos on my iPhone if I'm on the run, because LumaFusion works there too. It's just harder. Everything's cramped, you're like pinching and zooming with your hands. Having that iPad screen real estate goes a long way. You can upload videos directly to YouTube from your iPad. You can save them, you can edit them, you can render them. It's a really cool tool. And if you wanna get into content creation for yourself or even sell white label videos where you create videos and present them for someone else's channel, an iPad is all you really need to do that. So there you have it. Can you run a successful freelance business using just an iPad in 2022? Yes, definitely. I hope this video helped kind of shed some light to you know maybe the lack of technical equipment you might need to do some different sorts of freelance businesses. But let me know what you think. Was this video helpful? Do you have, have an iPad and are thinking about using it in this way? Are you thinking about picking one up? Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask me down below. Happy to chat. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, cheers.